Thursday night, Dodgers ace Clayton Kershaw made his much-anticipated return from the disabled list and looked superb, stifling the Phillies for one run in five innings. Immediately after the game, the Dodgers announced that Kershaw would get an MRI after his back tightened up midway through his start. But there was something else more concerning about Kershaw's start, his pitch velocity. More, how hybrid pitchers prepare for dual roles in rotation, bullpen Kershaw's average fastball velocity Thursday was at its lowest ever, and it was his worst start by 1.4 miles per hour. Kershaw's previous low came in a 2012 start when he was pitching through the flute, so if we wipe that off the board, Thursday night was Kershaw's worst start in terms of fastball. Velocity by 2.6 miles per hour, a gap large enough to span Kershaw's average fastball velocity from his previous worst non-flu game, 91.7 miles per hour, to his 232nd worst game, 94.3 miles per hour. Kershaw has pitched in exactly 300 games, so that span accounts for 78% of Kershaw's games pitched. That stat alone should be enough to set off sirens in the Dodgers' front office. Kershaw's velocity declined steadily through 2017, but Thursday's start was beyond what anyone could have expected. And it wasn't just back tightness, Kershaw said his back tightened up in the middle of his start, but his pitch velocity was down from the start. The chart below shows his pitch velocity on all pitches during Thursday's start. There might be something else ailing the Dodgers starter, something significant. In-game fastball velocity is an excellent indicator of injury in pitchers. Fastball velocity is generally steady. If someone throws 93 to 94 miles per hour, they will continue to throw 93 to 94 miles per hour. That number might rise or fall with age, but it will only do so gradually. So, if a pitcher comes out of the gate throwing 2 to 3 miles per hour slower than they've been throwing recently, something is probably wrong. There are some excellent examples of pitch velocity as the canary in the coal mine. In 2017, Matt Harvey's average fastball velocity dropped like a stone during a start, and he was quickly diagnosed with a stress injury that kept him out for months. James Shields averaged 92 miles per hour on his fastball in his first two starts of 2017 but dropped to 90 miles per hour in his third right before hitting the disabled list with a strained lot. Nathan Avaldi consistently hit triple digits on the radar gun, but barely averaged 94 miles per hour on his fastball in his last start prior to Tommy John surgery that sidelined him for all of 2017. You don't need to have your velocity drop to be injured, and velocity can fluctuate from game to game. But drops of more than 2 miles per hour should be cause for concern. Those kinds of drops don't come from nowhere, and they are often indicative of injury. Kershaw has struggled with injury since his last peak season in 2015, when he threw 232.2 IP with a 2.13 era. He missed significant time in both 2016 and 2017, and his peripherals have been slowly creeping upward ever since. His strikeout rates have dropped, his walk rates are up, and after giving up a scant 0.5 HR, 9 in his career up to 2016, since 2017 he's giving up home runs at more than double the rate, 1.2 HR, 9. If Kershaw is having arm troubles again, it's another blow to him and the Dodgers, who have seen superstars Corey Seager and Justin Turner already miss significant time with injury. The Dodgers desperately needed some good news, but Kershaw's start Thursday, as promising as it may have looked on paper, was anything but.